Hey there. So in order to have a website, there are two very important things that you need to get online. And these things are a domain name and web hosting. Now in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what this means. What is a domain name? What is web hosting? And I will show you how to get your website set up. So what is a domain name? Right now, I am at yahoo.com, www.yahoo.com. This is the domain name of Yahoo, or the website name of this Yahoo website. So you're going to need to pick out a website name for the business you're running, or whether you're setting up a personal website. You want to make a domain name that is relevant to the website you're running or the business that you're running. So this is your domain name, www.yourwebsite.com. This is your website name, your domain name. So when someone says, what's your website name? They're talking about your domain name or it's also um, called a URL. So it's yourwebsite.com you know, facebook.com, um, your business website.com. This can be also .co.uk. Um, you know, some good things to consider when you do register your domain name and get your website name out there is to make sure that you have alternative domain names in mind that you would consider registering. Now, this is because a lot of domain names have already been registered. So there is a slight chance that the domain name that you go to register is already taken. So if this is the case, um, you know, try to think of other domain names. You can also register, you know, your website, yourwebsite.net, um, yourwebsite.info, yourwebsite.org if the .com domain name is not available. Okay, now what is web hosting? Now, a domain name is basically like your plot of land. And web hosting is the service that takes care of this land that you own. So, you can register this domain name, yourwebsite.com, but when you register that domain name, all that would appear is just a blank screen, a, just a white blank screen. Web hosting allows you to have content and images and videos and anything that you want to put on your site content-wise. It allows this content to show up just like Yahoo is showing up on my screen right now. Now what web hosting is, is it is basically a computer that is on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that we are storing all of our information on this domain name on. So I've just Googled web hosting and I pulled up this Wikipedia page of web hosting that kind of gives a little bit of perspective on what web hosting actually is, because it is kind of complex um, but when, you know, all of the websites that you see on the internet do have some sort of web hosting or else you would not be able to see their images and all of the content on this domain name. So for instance, here is a server right here. The web hosting company um, that provides this service has all sorts of servers like this that they store your content on. So the domain name that you register is going to have to have web hosting. And web hosting companies have servers where they store all of the information and content that you create for your website. So I hope that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> now, the web hosting company that I always go with um, this is the web hosting company that I've been with for the past seven years. Um, with this company, I've had really good experiences with. 
there are in the U.S. alone, I think 30,000 or so web hosting companies actually. So there are quite a lot. Um, and I do encourage you before you do go set up your website to go out there and really read some Google reviews and you know rev read uh, reviews elsewhere to try to find a company that has satisfied customers. So <clears throat> if you're gonna go with HostGator and you've done your research and you're satisfied with the reviews and everything, then you know, go to hostgator.com and I will walk you through how to get your website set up. So once you come to hostgator.com, you will see this screen right here. And we're gonna to wanna to click on view web hosting plans. And we will get to this screen and we'll notice that hostgator has a few different hosting plans the hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. Now the hosting plan that I have always gone with, personally, um, and that I've been very satisfied with, is this baby plan. And the reason that I always go with this plan right here is because that this plan offers unlimited domain names. So under this one hosting account, under this one baby plan, I can host unlimited domains. So I can host mywebsite.com, yourwebsite.com, yourbusinesswebsite.com, myfriendswebsite.com, unlimited domains, which I think is really cool. Um, and I have not seen that in a lot of other hosting companies out there. Now, if you, if you know that you just want to register one domain and you're not going to want to register other domains after that, um, then you might want to go with the hatching plan. Under this plan, you can host one domain, and it has some of the similar features that I go with with the baby plan. So I'm going to go ahead and select a monthly term with the baby plan. This is what I've always done uh, monthly. I don't really like to have commitments with companies, even though I've been with them for seven years. Obviously, it would make sense if I did a three-year term or um, you know two-year term to to save a have a bigger discount. So month to month, but I'm going to click monthly and I'm going to do order now. And once we do that, we will come to this next page on HostGator where it is asking us to register a domain name. So if you remember, our domain went, our domain name was, you know, yahoo.com, yourwebsite.com. And here we are to register our domain name. And this is going to show us what is available out there, what's not already taken. So we're just going to want to type, you know, our business name or, you know, the personal website that we are trying to register today. So your website one, two, three, we see is unavailable. So if you get this screen, some good options are to either enter in a new domain name completely or to come over to this field over here to the right and select .net maybe. And we see that your website 123.net is actually available, so I can register this domain name. Um, we can also register .org, .info, and .biz. And now if you already own the domain name, let's say that you've already registered your domain name with um, GoDaddy or other domain registrars out there, you want to come here already, and you'll you'll uh, click this button here. I already own this domain, but since I am registering a new one, we will want right here. Since we have that, let's scroll down, and let's make sure that the correct plan that we've selected appears here. And we're going to want to enter in a username and security pin right here. And also enter in our billing information. And now if you're outside of the U.S., HostGator also does accept PayPal. So you can use PayPal. And let's keep scrolling down. We are coming to hosting add-ons. Now, I always uncheck these hosting add-ons. Um, Domain privacy protection is asking us to spend $9.95 for a year. I'm going to uncheck that. 
Um, but what domain privacy is, is basically just added protection. Um, so right now, because I've unchecked this domain privacy, when someone searches the domain name that I'm going to register here, they will be able to pull up um, my name and some of my personal information. And now for me, privacy has not ever been an issue, so that's why I always uncheck this. Um, now, if you if privacy is an issue for you, you know you might want to add that to your account. And now going down to site lock, I always uncheck this as well. Um, site lock is going to give added protection to your website. Now, I always set up my websites with WordPress, and there are all sorts of plugins available to add to WordPress that will help add uh, security to your website. And this is free, so that's why I always uncheck this. And we will keep coming down, and we will see a field here where it is asking, asking us to enter in a coupon code. Now, this is a default code with, with uh, HostGator. I actually have a coupon with HostGator that will save us extra money. And this coupon code is EasyGuide30. And once we enter that in and click validate, we will see that we are now saving 30% off. And now this is the highest coupon code that I have seen as of yet from HostGator. And this coupon code is only available to my subscribers and to people who watch my YouTube videos. So thank you HostGator for this coupon code. It is really helping out a lot of us as we begin to set our websites up. So once we do that, we will come down and we will want to click I have read and agree to the terms and conditions and click create account.